All right, well, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to take a look back at what happened in the XGWO Pure Championship match. Tommy Kazarian, while he was on the ropes, and now, and now he's going for that camel clutch. Bring his hands around his neck, his throat, and nice move by Tommy Kazarian. With Kazarian, Kazarian. Oh, leg drop. And now, looks like a Boston Crab. Or an Orlando, or a Florida, no, an Orlando club crab, and now, Top Rap just counters. Open for an elbow drop, but no. Now punch, punch. Oh, and an Instagary. Now Tommy Kazarian, what is Kazarian gonna do? Kazarian, inverted DDT by Tommy Kazarian. Tommy Kazarian. Oh, and the ref gets in the way because the ref is such a dumbass. Seriously, uh, now Pack Rat taking advantage of the mistake, of the mistake, and now what is Pack Rat going to do, and elbow to the face, punch, kick, and Irish whip, and gets countered, and Tommy Kazarian, now shoulder thrust, now Irish whip, power slam, Now, our slip again. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, the whisper in the wind! And Pack Rat is busted open, and what is... What, what's... Oh, shit. Oh, here it is. Going for it. Oh, the cover card is slam! Now, go for the cover! One, two, three, it's over! Tommy Kazarian is a two-time, is now a two-time pure champion, and that is pure gold. Now that, now that is a pure champion. Congrats to Tommy Kazarian, and that was a great match. I mean, and I have to say the FFW match, that was a good match, and I mean, oh man. Oh boy. That was awesome, I mean. All right, well, ladies and gentlemen, um, uh, at the risk of sounding biased, I gotta say this: Pack Rat James, fuck you, you fucking asshole. Title thief, how did you win the title belt, might I ask? Oh, that's right, you put your feet on the ropes. Remember that? Really now? Tommy Kazarian defeated you one, two, three, center of the ring, or one, two, three, cleanly, and he's the title thief? Seriously. Fuck you! Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, making his way to the ring is one half of the tag team champions. He is Sherman. Byron Sherman Harate. And his tag team partner Slash had success earlier tonight, and will he have some success as he takes on He takes on the other half of Team Deutschland as he takes on Richie Stein. And yes, I finally got the names cleared. Richie Stein is the smaller member, which makes sense considering Paul Berlin was the bigger member. And the bigger members of each tag team were going up against the bigger member, the small, ah, forget it, you know what it is. Forget it. Forget it. Anyway, yeah, Byron Sherman Harate is going to be facing off against Richie Herrenberg. Richie Pat. Fuck is his name again? Uh. Boy, I've been commentating a lot. I've been commentating in a long time, and I can't remember half the things I'm supposed to remember. Richie Stein is making his way to the ring. Yes, he's Richie Stein. He's facing Sherman. Fighter on Sherman, Hararte. His tag team partner, Richie Stein, faced Paul Berlin. Wait, Paul Berlin? Ah, you know what? Just 
You've seen the show. Please don't try to make me explain this. Where's his nameplate? Is Sherman the only one who gets a nameplate? Weird. Anyway, yeah. Richie Stein making his way to the ring. The smaller members of the teams that will be facing each other at in the house four will be going one on one right now. And of course, later on tonight we have our main event. It is going to be Great D versus Patrick Hamburg. If Patrick Hamburg can come across with a win, he keeps Great D out and keeps it as a triple threat match. But if Great D defeats Patrick Hamburg in the cage match, he will be added to the match. And I gotta say, Jonathan Magnum must be watching this match. That match will. Be Real interest. In, oh, nice tilt world backbreaker there by Sherman. Anyway, like I was saying, he must be watching it with real interest considering now his match has gone from a one on one contest to a triple threat as of last week to now it could be a fatal four way after the nice elbow drop there by Sherman. Richie Stein pushes him back. There's a headlock there by Sherman. And Sherman with a knee to the, oh, knee to the face. Now, Sherman, what's he going to do here? Flying head scissors there on Richie Stein. And Sherman with a nice flipping leg drop on the back of the neck of Richie Stein. Richie Stein counters the block, counters the punch, and there's a go behind there by Sherman and a kick to the back of the knee. And he kicks him right in the kidneys. And Sherman with a drop kick right to the side. I gotta say one thing about Sherman is he's a technical he's a technical high flyer, but he can get vicious when he wants to. And there was a nice elevated Indian death lock, but Richie Stein had the ropes. That was it. Got him in the arm and got Frankensteiner there by Sherman. Sherman with a Frankensteiner. Now he's just talking trash. And Sherman with a drop kick, but Richie Stein just doesn't even it's not even bother him any. And nice fireman's carry takedown there by Sherman. Now Sherman off the ropes. Here it comes and boom! A big elbow there by Sherman, almost Abdul the butcher like. Anyway, now there's a few shots there by Sherman. Sherman now off the ropes and went for the clothesline, but Richie Stein redirected him. Went to go kick him, but Richie Stein pushed him down and now got him with a cover. No, not even a one count. Richie Stein slipped on something. Now, Sherman whips him in, ducks down in front of him, and oh, what a kick to the face. Falls it up with a double axe onto the kidneys. And Sherman with a spinning heel kick. Now Richie Stein whips him in, drops down in front of him, and Sherman rolls out of the way. And Sherman went for the clothesline, but Richie Stein was too smart for him. He got him with a chop, chop toe, followed up with an elbow drop. It was a punch to the face. And anyway, it's an arm ringer. And into the Frankensteiner once again, flipping Richie into the corner. Now Sherman going up top, doing a little bit of taunting here. Don't want to. Take you, you don't want to waste too much time here. Oh, what a nice flying clothesline there by Sherman. Now oh, Sherman up on top. And, oh, what a shooting star press. I forgot what he calls it. I think it's called the blood drop. Anyway, now kick in the midsection. Here it comes. Getting Sherman. Whoa. It's a reversal there by Richie Stein. He had that well scouted. Richie Stein now with a chop block to the knee of Sherman. I gotta say that much. That was incredible. He had that well scouted. He saw it coming and he reversed it. Now Sherman kicked to the lower back of Richie Stein and Stein now the punch to the midsection. There's a punch there by Sherman. Now wait a minute. Sherman has got the arm locked on. Oh, he's got him locked in a Juju Jatami. He's hyper extending the arm there. But there's a rope break. There's a reversal. It punches him. Sherman retaliates with a punch of his own in. Sherman with a flying head scissors. Now what's Sherman planning on doing here? Sherman always oh, got the legs locked up. We've seen this before. It's that elevated Indian death lock on Richie Stein. Now he's going to do something. I don't know what exactly. He's turn he turned him over. Now wait a minute. Oh, and Asahi Moonsault in the ring. And now going for the cover. Hook of the leg and one, two. Oh, wow. Close to being over there. The kick in the midsection. Oh, Sherman. Here he goes. He's going for it. He is going for the three for Eddie. I think that's what he calls it. Yeah, three for Eddie. Now dragging him in the middle. Or dragging him where he wants him. And he's going up top. 
Oh, Richie Stein had that well scouted and slams him down. Wow, I've got to say this much. If Richie Stein and Paul Berlin have been doing this much scouting on Sherman and Sherman and his tag team partner, Slash. Oh, wait, there was 10. There was this frog splash. One, two, and three. I've got to say this much. Singles match, they didn't. Slash and Sherman got their momentum, but I gotta wonder. I mean, they had, I don't know, Richie Stein definitely had somewhat of Sherman's number with the reversals, especially with the get Germinated getting reversed and, and catching him out of nowhere with that, that block button. I don't know, he just caught him out of nowhere and just slammed him down to the ground. Definitely something to watch out for. I mean, Slash and Sherman could easily lose their tag team titles to the to Team Deutschland. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, stay tuned. There will be more XGWL action coming up.